guys, it's Michael Levine. Uh, a little while ago I did, um, I called it my tipsy scissor review because I was drinking red wine and I was, I just kind of unloaded all my scissors that I had in my bag and th that I could find. I got scissors, man. I got scissors out the yin yang. Um, and I just did this review of the scissors that I had. And uh, this time I'm drinking beer, so cheers. Um, and I thought I would gather up all the blow dryers that I had in my house. And this was, this was... Um, brought upon because I came into ownership of a Dyson. And I'm going to talk about this in a little while. Uh, yeah, this is the, the reason I'm doing this is because of the Dyson. But I'm going to get to that Dyson in just a few minutes. So I'm going to talk about a couple of blow dryers that I had lying around the house. I have a, one of our salons is called Space. We have blow dryers that hang from the ceilings on retractable cords that are in the, in the ceiling cloud. And this salon is so beautiful, but these blow dryer, this blow dryer situation is the bane of my existence. And the reason is, understand guys, that when a blow dryer is hanging from a ceiling, the, the connection in a blow dryer is all right in, right in here. This is where the solder is from sort of here to here. And the cord is generally kind of loose. So blow dryers, absolutely, you can hold them like this all the time. There's no tension on this cord, but the second you hang it and then pull down on it with tension, what's happening is you're separating the electrical connection in here. So you can take the world's greatest blow dryer, and if that blow dryer doesn't have a really, really strong anchor connection, and most of them don't, guys, most of them don't, um, I'll explain that anchor connection a little bit better in a moment. What ends up happening is the solder connection or the screw connection that's in there eventually gets weak. And as the, all it takes is one big pull, um, once it's weakened and the lines cross and you can get every, you can get anything from a little puff of smoke to full on flames shooting out. And in our salon space, we've had two different occasions where at least two, I got, I can't lie. It's probably been like three or four where the blow dryers have caught fire in the stylist's hands. And there was one, Natalie, she doesn't work for me anymore, but the blow dryer was shooting like flames out like this. So she threw the blow dryer and it landed on one of my white chairs and melted the chair. And I would see these guys and the blow dryers hang like this. They would grab it with both hands. I swear to God, it was almost like watching the prices right where they're spinning the big wheel. They grab it with both hands and yank. Anyways, so this whole thing has been the bane of my existence for the six and a half years that we've had this salon because uh, we only ever had about six months where everything was working. And then there's always invariably a blow dryers down. I'll go in and I'll, I'll make sure all 12 blow dryers are working. And so I get everything going. And within three days, I get a phone call. One of the dryers is out. It just happens all the time. So I've tried every dryer under the sun um, in this salon trying to find the right dryer. And first of all, what I was doing was just going with dryers that had long cords. So um, I was using originally, I was using Velectra Paramounts. Um, and these are uh, these are fabulous dryers made in France. I was using the little ones, the um, I think it's the the nine thousand or something like that, the nine thousand I. Anyways, I was using the the little ones at first, and they were really good. Um, but they started to go, so we replaced them with the the bigger black Velectra Paramounts with the really sharp kind of fin at the back. And if you have that dryer, you know what I'm talking about. And that dryer was coming with out of the box. It was coming with a, a twelve foot cord. And that blow dryer is strong like bull. It is such a good blow dryer. Um, so those were our favorite blow dryers. But then all of a sudden, they started releasing them with 9-foot cords instead of 12-foot cords. And that was no good for me. So my criteria was always a good quality blow dryer with a long cord. Then I, I struck up a deal with a company that was custom making blow dryers with 15-foot cords for me. And that solved the problem for a few minutes, except those blow dryers sucked, Kadori. And um, they were terrible, just a horrible product. But, you know, I, I can't blame the company for trying to help me out because they put 15-foot cords in their blow dryers for me, which is pretty sweet. But the dryers are just no good. They're not built to withstand that kind of abuse. The search goes on. Um, in my life, I have worked with a lot of blow dryers. And I really like the Velectra Paramounts. Um, the one that we give our students right now is basically, it's the Harry Josh blow dryer, the, the mint green Harry Josh one. We just do, we just do the regular one as because it's substantially cheaper. And it's a great blow dryer. It's a fabulous product, um, quite powerful, but it's actually a little heavy. They they used to be light, that, product, that dryer used to be really light, but now it's a really heavy dryer. So it's getting a little too heavy for the students. 
And um, I'm kind of wanting to do my, my blow dryers and my ceiling one last hurrah. So I've been on the prowl looking for a blow dryer. So I talked to my main man, Russell Mays, uh, Hair Maven. Uh, he's a good friend of mine, an old friend of mine. And he actually was doing these blow dryers out of his ceiling in California. So I was like, when I went down to hung out with him, I'm like, Russell, what dryers are you using? Because this is freaking me out, man. I, it's like, it's killing me. And he's never had any of these problems. He uses a twin turbo. And he was saying that the twin turbo has a clamp inside of it and there's no solder connection. It's a screw. So he can rewire those things in no time at all. So I bought myself what I thought was a twin turbo. This is made by a company. I mean, it's private labeled. So this is a company called Babelis. And I don't know if they're just a Canadian company. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen them in, in the States, but um, Babelis Pro and it's called a Super, Super Turbo. And I got to tell you guys, this thing was cheap. It was like $70, $80. I buy them so that I can take them apart to see what the guts are. And once I've kind of gouged at them with a screwdriver to get them apart, you know, I can't return this one. And this is an ugly color. I was going to order more in different colors if this worked out. Anyways, the internal parts of this blow dryer do not work for what I want to do with them. So I just, my wife took it. And I got to tell you guys, it was like $80, this thing. It is so powerful this is a fantastic blow dryer um it's so strong i can't even believe it it's a good weight um it's not particularly sexy but i think if you get it in a better color scheme i personally only like a trigger cold shot i don't like the one some of them are like a button cold shot that when you go click and then it's on and then you have to go click again and then it's off i hate that i just when it's in it's on and when it's out it should be off i need really really good airflow and i need reasonable heat but airflow to me is more important than heat and this blow dryer is strong man it's crazy crazy strong so uh i endorse it but i have no idea about the longevity of this product then when parlux first came out um in british columbia um i bought this i, I bought this at uh one of the beauty supplies and this is the parlux 3800 eco-friendly and and i had to buy the the muffler so stupid i had to buy a muffler attachment for this thing but anyways uh this i kept this in my studio as my studio blow dryer i'm i'm a sucker for tools guys so um i bought this they were telling me it was the latest greatest and it had all these kind of cool colors so i bought this to test and um and i don't know why i never bought more of these because it's a fantastic product and i think i think the fact that it needed a muffler made me think it was louder than it was but it's really no louder than any other dryer so anyways this parlux 3800 i had this for a little while it's not too heavy it's a decent weight um the cord is thick man this is like i don't know man this is like a, a what is what do you call it probably a 12 gauge cord this is so thick amazing product um the reason that uh, that I'm talking about these right now is I actually just opened this. I've had this for a couple of years, maybe four years. And um, I just decided to open it up to see what the guts were in this. I'd never opened it. And it's like got normal screws, so it's easy enough to open. So I opened it up and lo and behold, it has a clamp here that's really, really tight and then allows a little bit of slack. And then instead of solder connections, it's screw connections. So I thought, holy macaroni. I can use Parlux dryers. I can rewire Parlux dryers. They're already fit for a super thick cable, so I can replace the cable myself. Um, that clamp, what that clamp does, guys, is it stops that tension here because it's clamped super rock solid in there, and then there's a little bit of slack. So if you make sure that clamp doesn't slip, you can pull really hard on this, and you're never going to have a problem here. The issue with this dryer is going to be that the motor burns out of this, and these things have like a 2,500-hour guarantee or something crazy like that, which is like three and a half years professional use. Yeah, that's a pretty damn good situation. So I phoned up the distributor of this company uh, locally, and I said, listen, dude, how much can you do me for 12 of these? And if I like them, I'm going to put them in all my student kits and we're going to exclusively retail these. And they come in some pretty sexy colors, too. And uh, he said, Michael, um, I'll give you a great deal on them, but I don't think you want the 3800. Um, there's a new one that's just come out and it is the Advance Light, the Parlux Advance Light. And uh, he said it's lighter weight. And it's a stronger, or it's as strong or stronger motor, and it's quite a bit lighter weight. So I went down to his place and I checked it out, and it's virtually the identical body. There's a couple little small changes with it, but it's virtually identical. I mean, it looks pretty much identical. This has these three little lines for a rubber stopper so it doesn't slip off the counter, and this has two aggressive arrows instead. 
that's pretty much the only difference. I think it's pretty much the exact same case. So uh, I, I'm going to put this one down. Anyways, I love this Parlex, the 3800. Great dryer. So I bought this one just about two weeks ago and uh, took it apart. And sure enough, it has the exact same situation that that one does, except this is on like a 14 gauge cord. But there's a lot of room in here. The only thing is the clamp is slightly smaller than the clamp in that one, which if anything should work to my advantage, I think because it should make the clamp tighter because the cord's bigger. So we are going to put, I think we're going to put 20 put twenty foot cords into these things, 25 foot cords. There's a reason for it. I won't go into why they're going so ridiculously long. A hairdresser doesn't need 25 feet. They need 15 feet, but I want them to never reach the end of the cord. So that way they're never putting tension on my spool. Uh, anyway, so I took this thing apart. I love it. This is a fantastic product, just like the other one, but it's lighter weight. It gets very, very hot. Nice, nice build out and great guarantee. And you can replace the motors in these things. You can service them. Can you imagine you can service a blow dryer? How cool is that? So I have this great, big, wonderful plan. I'm making, you know, I got my, I got white, which is going to go great in my salon, even though I could, I wanted to do orange, but my wife was like, listen, that's going to be tacky. You might like it for a minute, but then you're going to get sick of it. Now you're stuck with 12 orange blow dryers. Um, but I still want orange. I love orange. It's, I, I love tacky, vulgar colors. By the way, guys, for years, I loved Elkim's. Studio Elkim was my go-to dryer. I loved it. I liked the shape of it. I also liked the Elkim uh, Typhoon. Loved that product. Great product back in the day. Um, I think that you, they still make them. Pretty sexy. Um, okay, so then my aunt is a client of mine. My aunt is a client of mine. and uh, And she came in. Uh, several months ago and she asked me what I thought of Dyson and I said well to be honest I've, I don't know anything about them I'd love to play with one but um, I've not seen one yet and I did reach out to the fine folks at Dyson and I said listen guys I got 12 blow dryers hanging from my ceilings I would love them to be Dyson's and they said yeah thanks uh, they didn't seem that interested so then I was doing New York IBS and they had a big Dyson booth so my wife and I were hanging out there for a little while and we were checking them out and I was like yeah you know what who cares? You know, I held one. It's like, okay, well, it's an interesting design. I don't really love the balance of it. I don't really love the shape of it. Um, I like the way it looks as an architectural piece, as a utilitarian kind of, you know, it's like a hammer. I love that there's no ergonomics to it whatsoever. I like the, the feel of it um, as a form before function kind of thing. But I was, you know, I, I was left underwhelmed going, meh, it's a gimmick and $500, like insane, right? Okay, so I liked the magnetic thing. I think that's super cool. Um, so as I said, I was just, I was just turning them on and off at the, at the New York IBS. And that was really the extent of it. I spent five minutes with them and I was like, meh, whatever. I like my, I like my blow dryers. So then, uh, cut to two weeks ago, my aunt brings in her Dyson and, uh, and I go, oh, cool. Let me, I, can I use it on you? And she's like, yeah. And at the end of the service, she just gave it to me. She goes, listen, I never use it. Um, I thought I was going to use it because of all the, you know, the advantages that they talked about it. But at the end of the day, it's a blow dryer and I never use it. I wasn't blow drying my hair before. Um, so I, and I'm not blow drying it now. It's like, it's just sitting there being wasted. And I know you will get use out of it. So I, it was, it was like, wow, what a wonderful gift. Um, I was, you know, so, so it, it, it was an amazing gift. It's, these things ain't cheap. Um, it was a lovely gesture on her part. And uh, so here's the thing, guys. So I used it on her. She was the first person I used it on. I believe I believe I just, um, I believe I used the diffuser, uh, which again is magnetic and pretty cute. Um, so I used it on her and here's what I noticed right away. First of all, the sound of this thing is very sophisticated sounding. Um, it sounds really, really cool. The airflow off this thing is incredible like freak me out so strong i can't i was i was kind of shocked um and it gets really hot too so i was like wow this is actually a really great product but you know what else guys like this has good airflow not as strong as this this gets really hot um and this is only like 120 or 130 dollars so i don't know it was i gotta tell you here's here's what i think guys here's what i think about the dyson um this is what the big difference is. It's an intangible. When I use this product, I think about the product in my hand. I talk about it. Um, I feel differently. When I use any other blow dryer, I don't think about the blow dryer in my hand. 
I just do the job. When I use the Dyson, I'm very aware of what I'm using. I've been doing hair for 25 years now. I mean, I'm not an easily impressed person. And I wanted this to be a gimmick. I wanted this to not be worth the money. And it probably isn't worth the money. I'll talk about that in a second. But I want, I didn't want it to be this good. Um, first of all, I, just from a pure performance standpoint, this thing is freaking awesome. And it's not just hype. It's really, really good. Now, and that's all well and good. And I, and I expect it to be at that price. I didn't, you know, it, but it is really good. But as I was touching on earlier, when I use it, I feel something different as a hairdresser. I feel special. I feel like people are looking at it. I feel like it's a conversation piece. Um, I feel, I feel differently when I use it and that excites me. And then I find that I work a little harder in my blow dry, but I don't have to because this dries the hair really quick. There's a, there's this weird intangible value to this tool. Um, here's what I would tell you from a purely economic standpoint, guys, uh, if you know what the law of diminishing returns, is that what it is? The law of diminishing returns. Basically it, it says once you get to a certain level, um, the sacrifice in this case, financial, the $500 is not worth the return, right? It can be better, but how much better can it be? Is it worth three of these? No. No one knows how long these things are going to last. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how long the Dysons last. It's, as a pro hairdresser, if you get a solid year out of this, uh, it's probably well worth it because most of us, um, most of us really only get like, we probably buy a dryer every year to two years anyway. So if you can get a year to two years out of this, it's worth it. Um, my blow dryers are way faster. I feel sexier when I use it and I already feel pretty damn sexy. I don't know if you're like Michael, I know it cause you look sexy. It's not worth $500 in my opinion. If I had to pay for it, I believe I would be less impressed because it was free and I don't have any financial attachment. I have to say, I absolutely love this Dyson dryer. Um, it's, it's really, really good. It's well worth it. And here's, what's kind of cool now, by the way, guys, so we were at, uh, we were, when we were at New York, IBS, Laurent Duforg, uh, was using one of these on stage. And you know, if you, Laurent is a brilliant editorial stylist and one, a, a classic editorial trick when you're trying to get hair with volume, you, you use air and, and your blow dryer or air and your aerosol hairspray at the same time. So you'll get the hair to the height that you want and then you hit it with the aerosol hairspray. The aerosol goes into the path of the heat and cements exactly what you're holding. So, you know, it's an old trick and we've been doing it forever and it's a great trick, by the way, you use it on set. I use it on stage because it's very dramatic. What does Laurent do? He fires the hairspray through the hole. Coolest thing I have ever seen. So when we watched him do it, it's like, oh, shit, that is so slick. So then cut to like three months later, I got my own Dyson and I'm like, watch this, baby. So I got, I'm blow drying and I shoot the hairspray into the hole. And the thing, I'm so stupid. The air doesn't come through this hole here. The air comes through this tiny slot here and the concentrator nozzle is actually this. You, I don't know if you can tell, I don't think so, but this is solid. This is where the air actually goes is around here. So when I shot all this, this um, hairspray into this thing, it was just like stopping and sticking all filling up in here and filling up the inside of my Dyson. And it was a big sticky mess and it didn't go anywhere. And then I realized the, what actually was going on with these things anyways. So I looked like a total jackass, which is not the first time. Anyways, guys, um, if somebody gives you a Dyson as a gift, it's going to be the greatest thing you've ever had. I don't necessarily recommend spending 500 bucks on it because I think, um, I think that you're going to have a higher expectation at, at you having to shell out the $500, but holy smokes, if you get it as a gift, if, if somebody gives you one, it's, it's pretty damn good. Um, that's my review of a few different dryers and leading up to the Dyson. Thanks guys. Hope you liked it. Darling, don't you go and cut your hair. Do you think it's gonna make him change? I'm just a boy with a new haircut and that's a pretty name.